Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle and if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I have two boxes of plant mail. Both of them came from Plant Story. If you have not downloaded the Plant Story app yet, I will leave it linked down below for you. If you use my link, you'll get a $15 coupon to use, which basically gets you free shipping on your first order. So don't miss out on that. Okay, so these are coming from a shop that I've bought from before and one that I haven't. So this one is from a company called Poppy and Fern. And then this second box is from Laszlo Plants. I have ordered from them before. It's just been a while since I've ordered anything from them. So I am gonna open this one up first. Unfortunately, this company is temporarily closing. So... I'm not going to be able to purchase from them for very long, but because they're closing, they had some really great deals and we're just hoping that the plants are looking good <laughs> so that those deals were actually worth it. So there are some anthurium in here and one I'm pretty excited and nervous about. You'll understand why when I show you what it is. I think they're in Oregon, if I'm not mistaken, is where this came from. Packaging. Packaging again. Um, we've got a heat pack here. And then we've got our stuff, just kind of like chilling in the box. So the first thing here that I'm pretty nervous about is actually... <laughs> a tray of plants so this is packaged so cute um they packaged it really well there's like floof inside so this is actually a tray of anthurium seedlings and i don't know exactly what seedlings they are i like vaguely remember but i don't know what all of them are so this is kind of like a gamble they do like these trays I think there's 11 of them in here. Hopefully they're all okay and happy. I'm just gonna get this tape off. It's like the most adorable packaging ever. But if there's anything I've learned in my lifetime is that cute packaging does not equal <laughs> good packaging. Ooh. They are all labeled, thankfully. <laughs> so there's that. Let's get all this floof off and then we can take a closer look at what all these babies are. A lot of them are just gonna look like the same right now because, well, they're babies. So, um, yeah, some of them are bigger than others. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Okay. This one is a Fort Sherman Ralph Lyman Linum times Carla Blackie. I'll show you guys all the little taggy tags. If it would focus, it doesn't wanna focus. And then there's a little Vitarifolium in here. There is a red crystal crossed with Forgetii crossed with Pap Mag. And then over here we have a Pure Pap, which is one that I wanted. Doriaki times Dreamweaver crossed with Jack of Clubs. I have no idea what that's gonna look like, but there's a little baby in there. Um, there's one cell missing. There's probably something that died. A forgetty eye, a no ID, a magnificum crossed with milkman, which I think just is the same as open, so they don't know. <laughs> so they say milkman because they don't know um, what it's crossed with. A pap mag crossed with a pap, and then we've got a pap mag crossed with a black widow crossed with a Michelle. That one should be interesting. And then a crystallinum open as well, or crossed with a milkman. So there's definitely some stuff in here that's like, you know, forgetty eye, pat mag. I've got a million pat mags, but I don't know what Black Widow is. I don't know what Jack of Clubs or Dreamweaver is. And I definitely wanted a pure pap, and I got one right here. So I'm excited to see 
how these grow out. You guys can get like a screenshot of the tags if you want to, so you can see them better. But look at how cute. Oh my goodness. So I'm actually just gonna keep it exactly as it is and make sure that the moss stays well watered. I have a Anthurium forgettii that's got berries that are ready to um, explode. So I'm gonna be setting it up the same way and hoping to grow out some little Anthurium bibis. So yeah, some cute little seedlings. Some of them are gonna be big enough to take out of here soon. Mm, cute, okay, I'm not mad about it. And then the second plant in here is just an Anthurium. I don't remember which one, but I remember it was cute. I'm the worst. But I wanted like a prop, they had such good prices that I wanted like a, you know, like a proper Anthurium, not just like a baby from them as well. And I mean, so far I'm pretty pleased. Everything looks good. Ooh. Oh, you're pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a nice, this is a nice one. Do you guys see this? That is a pretty leaf. Holy guacamole. This doesn't have a name on it. Oh, no, it's just got the, I think that's the growers tag, cartel something, but this is a Fort Sherman crossed with, or, um, yeah, Fort Sherman, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, everything's fine. Fort Sherman crossed with PAP 1. I don't know what that means, but it's basically gonna look like a PAP, I think. I don't know anything about Ethereum. All I know is that this is really pretty and I like it. So i um, excited to watch it grow. It's probably similar to that other Fort Sherman, Ralph Lynam, Pap seedling that's in the tray. But that is what I snagged from Poppy and Fern. And I'm definitely not mad about the packaging. They used the plastic wrap here so that the soil didn't fall out all over me. I still managed to get soil all over me but that's that's my fault so i'm not i'm not mad i'm excited to grow out my little babies so stay tuned if you're interested in watching me grow out little anthurium babies okay next package so again this one is from laszlo plants they are in new jersey i've ordered hoya and other philodendron and stuff from them before and i've had pretty good experiences with them and i know that they have decent shipping and packaging and everything so i felt comfortable snagging these and uh, you guys might be a little bit surprised by what's in here but these are plants that i if you watch my plant shopping videos then you won't be surprised but i have wanted one of the ones in here in particular for quite some time and then the other one i just thought was really pretty so these i am hoping to have a really nice little window space for in the new place or else i wouldn't have bought them and i probably should have waited until after we moved but they were selling them now and they were a good price so i snagged them here's the packaging That's the company. Oh, and I have an invoice, which is nice because I always forget what I got and what I paid. So we've got two plants in here. This might give it away a little bit. Uh, I'm just really hoping that I can keep them alive. So we've got two separate plants. I'm gonna move this and start with this one. And I hope that it's still flowering so you guys can see how pretty it is. It's not a Hoya. Let me know if you know what it is before I open it. It's flowering, but it's not a Hoya. And it's nothing that I have currently, but it is something that I've said that I've wanted many times in plant shopping videos. And it's a plant that I've had in the past before, just not this one exactly. 
I don't know if this is the one that I'm thinking of, but it's one of them. I didn't see what it said. Oh, I think this is just the regular, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is not the one with the flower. The other one has the flower. This one does not. I'm really excited to see it. This is one that I wanted, but I was just kind of like waiting for the right one. And I paid $28 for this, which I thought was a steal. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's a variegated orchid. So this is a Phalaenopsis, which is like your standard, what I would call grocery store <laughs> orchid. But it's got these beautiful yellow variegated leaves. And I just think it's really pretty. So obviously it's not flowering right now, but it does have some active growth. And I'm hoping that with all the the love and um, maybe putting it in something different. I do like to grow them in swag, but I'll just put it in something a little bit prettier and um, set it up in a nice sort of bright window, but not like harsh, harsh sun. So <laughs> so excited. Okay, really cute variegated Phalaenopsis orchid. And then the next one you guys already know now is going to be an orchid, but it is not a Phalaenopsis. It is one that I've wanted for like honestly a few years. Because if you know me, you know that I love camouflage just like as a pattern. So anytime I see a plant that kind of has the same vibe or like that tricolor variegation to it, I am automatically drawn to it. So First time I saw this plant, I was naturally drawn to it. There's a few different types, and normally the one I see in the store has this really dark purple flower, and honestly, even the flowers are like, look like they came from an alien planet. Okay. Everything ships to me really fast, by the way. Uh, a lot of sellers, oh shoot, a lot of sellers on Plant Story offer like upgraded two day or next day shipping. So you have options. I like to have them in the mail for the least amount of time as possible. Okay, we're getting there. Oh man, I hope the flower is okay. They said they guaranteed that the flower was gonna arrive okay. So I was like, okay, I'm trusting you. Because I really love these. Oh, the flower is okay. She's a little bent, but she's okay. She's pink. Okay, do you know what it is? So, oh no, is she bent? I think she might be bent. Oh no. She got bent in. Maybe I can fix her. Give her like something to hold her up. It's a um, Paphiopetalum. And usually I, oh, don't break. Usually I only see the dark purple flowers, but this one's pink. And look at the foliage. Absolutely beautiful. These ones are different than Phalaenopsis in the sense that, it's funny, <laughs> they die back after they flower and they produce babies. So that's why I'm kind of bummed that it broke. <laughs> but it's still really pretty, right? I'm gonna try and like fix this really quick. Okay, I did some surgery. Maybe it'll stay and be okay like that. Maybe. I'm not 100% positive, but it is so stinking pretty. Um, and I don't really only love this for the weird blooms I like I said I love the foliage so those are my two new orchids let me know in the comments below if you guys like orchids I know it's probably 
not for everybody, but I've always really loved them. I love flowering plants. I'm kind of like into grandma plants. I love African violets. I love my, I just got an Easter cactus at Trader Joe's that I think is absolutely adorable. So call me a grandma, call me whatever you want, but I absolutely love it. And I'm very pleased with this plant mail. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite plant was today. Make sure you go and check out Poppy and Fern. They're doing like one more maybe two more live sales before they're completely done. So you definitely don't want to miss out on the sales that they've got going on. And then obviously Laszlo, they're live all the time and they always have great deals. So come on over and hang out on Plant Story. I do sales and lives just chilling over there doing plant chores and stuff as well. So come hang out. It's a really great community. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you should definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. There's also a notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button, all that good stuff, but I'm going to keep it quick and to the point. I love you guys so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you in the next one.